Alright, let's look at the properties of limit of sequences. So we are going to look at the first one, which is uniqueness of limit of sequences. Now, to say it's unique when the limit of this um, A of N is equal to A, doesn't mean that it's what? Unique. It needs to be what? To be proof. Even though what you are saying is true, but it needs to be what? To be proof. Alright. So that is the whole proof there, and there is a small part to be added up. Alright, so make sure you write it in well. Very good. So now, to prove, we have the types of what? Proof. We have already looked at it, and we know that we prove by contradiction. We prove by contraposition. And we prove by mathematical what? Induction. So we are going to prove this by contradiction and by contradiction you are going to say that the limit of this cos A, the limit of that is going to be where A and B cannot be what? Equal to. So we are saying that A cannot be equal to what? B. Alright, let's see. So A is greater than, if A is greater than B such that this is true. And if this is true, that means that A is greater than what? B. Because what we are saying is that when we subtract B from the A, which the value that you get should be greater than what zero. That means that A is greater than what A B. Very good. So let's take these two conditions or definitions. If given that this exists for all natural numbers such that such that all n is greater than what the natural what number, then this is what true. All right. So yeah, it's like we are taking it on the left hand side and what on the right hand side. And we are picking that for the A. And that's why we are dividing by what? Two. Alright? So we are picking that for the what? For the A. We have that for the B also there, and this is that. That is if giving that in the same way, but here, here is the N1, and here will be the what? N2. And here is S over what? Two. Very good. So this is for the A, this is for the B. Then let's combine. Let capital N is called the mass that right? we are providing N1 and what? N2. The mass, where, the maximum, is greater than maximum. Where all N is greater than what? N. Therefore, this is equal to that. Alright. So, yeah, we have that and that. So, from triangle inequalities, from triangle inequalities, we know search for this, all right? That is this plus this, very good. Now, if that be the case, then we are saying that this is less than or equal to what? This side, all right? So when we apply, or when we do the substitution of what we have here, we are going to get that, um, we now get A to be equal to B. Ah, this is contradiction. This is contradiction because we know we have already said that A can never be equal to what? B. And here we are saying that A is equal to B. Alright. So in such case, then let's take the limits. Okay, let me clean here. Let me clean here. So we take the limits. So when you take the limits, as n approaches infinity of a of n is equal to a, then we take also the limits. So therefore, then we take the limit as n approaches infinity of a of n is equal to what b. Then we can now say that here we say a is now equal to what the b. So this makes it what unique. This make it what unique. So this is just a proof to a uniqueness of limit of sequence. So in case you are asked to, but I'm not sure you'll be asked to do that. All right. So depending on your instructor to prove the uniqueness of limit of sequence, this is what you are demanding to do. All right. Let's look at the second property. And that is the sandwich or the sequence, the squeeze theorem. The squeeze theorem is the same as 
the sandwich sequence. So let's look at the sequence, or sorry, the sandwich or the squeeze of limit of what sequence. That is the second property. All right, so that is that. Let's look at the second one, which is sandwich or squeeze of limit of sequences. So this is not the first time hearing squeeze theory. All right, <laughs> hearing squeeze, the word squeeze. From your previous knowledge in that plus one, you have heard of squeeze theory before. So we are going to apply that idea in limit of what sequences. So that is what we have there for that. And you know, this is this and this is that. We are saying that if A of N is less than or equal to B of N, less than or equal to C of N. And if A of N is resolving to A, which is a value of A, and this, when you take the limit of this and you get the same value, that means that this value is also true for what? The, the B of what? N. So here, in introductory analysis, we have to analyze that whether it's true or not. So by analysis, then we prove, given that, 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 that. So that is that for that. All right. And that's going to be the proof. Very good. That's going to be the proof. So finally, then we prove by squeeze or sandwich one property. So in case you are asked to, Prove the sandwich or the squeeze of a limit of sequence. This is what you are supposed to want to write. Alright? Very good. There is one last thing to do, and that is also property of Cauchy sequence. Cauchy sequence. Cauchy sequence. So let's state that for that. Alright, so looking at the third property, we're supposed to be like that in the last one, which is Cauchy sequence. Cauchy sequence. So we have that. Suppose this is less than our epsilon. Then we state, given epsilon positive, there exists a natural number where there exists n, which belongs to which belongs to all natural numbers, such that all of now the n n here is represented value of some of numbers. Where if they are all greater than what? The natural what? Number. Alright. Then we say that that is that. So now, let's prove that every Cauchy sequence. Let's prove that every Cauchy sequence is convergent. Every Cauchy sequence is convergent. Alright. So we start the proving. Eh? Alright. Then we start the proving. Give a b as long greater than zero. Where n is what? Approaching infinity, positive infinity. There is this small n. There is this small n. Great n belonging to us. All natural numbers. Then we start our proof like that. So by triangle inequalities, then we can reduce this for this. And finally we get x So this means that every convergent sequence is a Cauchy sequence. Alright, so thank you. We will be back to use our idea of all that we have learned in the first property to the second property, most especially the sandwich or the squeeze of a limit of sequence to solve a lot of what questions. So that is the reason why we were giving all these properties. All right. So we will be back to use that idea to solve some questions. Until then. See you.